there, this is Veena from Fatty Cake, the channel that's about baking and much much more. A warm welcome to my channel. Today let's make a very easy and tasty Goan recipe, Goan banana buns that are slightly sweet and have a banana flavor. But we'll make healthy Goan banana buns, healthy Goan sweet buns with a mix of maida and whole wheat flour. Also called Goan sweet buns or jeera buns, these delicious Goan treats can be enjoyed for breakfast or with your evening tea. In Goa, banana buns are popularly served at local restaurants as a tasty breakfast snack. Though they are called banana buns, they are really like thick puris with a slightly spongy texture inside. So now, let's dive right into making flavorful Goan sweet buns with wheat flour right now at Patty Cake. To start with, in a bowl, let's mix 1 cup of maida or all-purpose flour, half a cup of whole wheat flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Let's mix everything with a whisk. Here I have two medium sized bananas. They weigh 130 grams. You could also use one large banana of roughly the same weight instead. I'll peel the bananas and transfer them to my mixer jar along with two and a half tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of yogurt. I'll blend all of this in my mixer grinder and be back. Here's the blended mix. I'll now transfer this to a mixing bowl. And to it, I'll add half a teaspoon of lightly crushed cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now let's prepare the dough for the sweet buns by adding in the flour mix a little at a time. We might need a little more or a little less of it depending on the volume of the mashed bananas. We'll see how much we need. We have to add enough flour to get a smooth medium soft dough. I'll now switch to kneading the dough with my hand. We still have a little dry flour left. So I'll rinse the mixer jar with around 2 teaspoons of water and add that too to the dough. Next, let's add 2 teaspoons of pure ghee to it. It need not be melted though. I'll now move the dough to a smaller bowl and drizzle a few drops of ghee on top of it to prevent it from drying out. We have to now cover the dough and let it ferment for 6 to 8 hours or overnight at room temperature or in the fridge. I'll be keeping it outside the fridge. I'm covering the bowl with a lid but you could also cover it with cling wrap. It's been 8 hours so now let's check our dough. After getting fermented for a few hours, the dough could become a little looser. In that case, just add a little maida to it and knead it again lightly to get a non-sticky dough that can be easily rolled out. I'm adding in around half a tablespoon of maida to begin with. The dough now seems okay. Let's divide it into 8 equal parts. I'll grease my palms with a little ghee and then shape each part into a smooth ball. Let's roll out the first one into a disc of around 3 to 3.5 inches in diameter 
like a puri but slightly thicker if you want the buns to be spongier inside you'll have to roll them out even thicker than this let's roll another one okay i'm done with the rolling out so now i'll take these to my stove top and deep fry them one by one my oil is heating up on a medium flame let's check if the oil is hot enough if bubbles are released immediately and the tiny dough ball floats to the top that means the oil has reached the right temperature i'll transfer the first rolled out disc to the hot oil gently press along the edges of the bun and soon it will puff up completely like this we'll fry it for around a minute on each side on medium heat this one is now done so let's remove it to a bowl lined with a kitchen paper towel let's fry the next one Here are the 8 sweet banana buns we just fried. Nicely puffed up and golden brown. Now let's tear one open and check the inside of a sweet bun. The bun is soft and slightly spongy inside. Now wasn't that an easy recipe? I told you. Today is a rainy day here and being able to munch on these hot plump and amazingly delicious buns is going to be such a treat do make these healthy banana buns without fail you'll love them for sure but how did you like this video don't forget to let me know okay but till next time take care and bon appetit